What's going on beer lovers? Welcome to another episode. Today we have a very interesting beer review for you. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have reached out to us and said that you wanted some beer and food pairings. Well, we got like the best beer and food pairing <laughs> ever because we're about to review a beer from Bottle Logic that is a pizza beer and we're eating it with pizza. So stay tuned. Hey everyone and welcome back. My name's Jeff. And I still need a haircut. <laughs> and today we're reviewing a really weird ass beer. Both Jacob and I are huge fans of Bottle Logic Brewing. And uh, they came out with this beer a little while ago and I was super curious. A few friends had tried it. They suggested that I try it and review it on the channel. And I didn't feel like it was appropriate for us to do this <laughs> okay. unless we did it with pizza. Enjoy. Ninja pizza. Ah. Ninja pizza? Pizza that vanished quickly without trace. Because it is, in fact, a pizza beer. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. This beer is called It's Not Delivery. It is a 5% pale ale. And it's actually made with malts that are supposed to mimic pizza crust. It also includes tomato, basil, fennel seed, and oregano. Oregano. Or, or, oregano. <laughs> Regardless, it sounds super weird. I, I personally cannot imagine that this is gonna be any good, but I guess that's <laughs> what the pizza's there for, just in case it sucks. We got, we got some, <laughs> by the way, we got some pizza, but we got DiGiorno. So it's not delivery, we got DiGiorno. Just saying. We care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if any of you uh, kids watching this uh, just turned 21 and don't get the Di DiGiorno joke. <laughs> um, just Google it. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys are ready, let's have some beer. Oh, oh guys. Okay, so first off, I was real. I mean, a part of me was really, really hoping that this was going to be, be red. red. No. Yeah, it's going to be just murky red. No, no, oh, yeah. No. Yeah, I really wanted that murky no. red. But taco hands was also, it looked like a normal beer, um, but it tasted like taco spice. It's kind of like a dark gold color. It is very hazy. Um, the head is actually really, really nice. It's got like about a finger, finger wide bubbles, and they're really tiny, soapy head. They don't seem to stick to the glass super well, but that's no big deal. Poe may have gotten closer to my glass. <laughs> that's fine, I'll drink from this side. Oh my god, that smells. Whoa! <laughs> hold on, hold on, we're... <laughs> Do you guys remember those crayons and markers when you were little kids that had really funny scents to them? And like, you would literally be sniffing crayons and markers? because they just smelled so weird. Those kids are now drug addicts. Yeah, or or like uh, scratch and sniff books and stuff like that. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. This is like that, oh, it almost yes. smells like the pizza weird. aroma scratch and sniff. Whoa. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm starving. Uh, I'm gonna take a bite of pizza before I dig into this. You know what, I do smell like a pale ale base. Um, you kind of have to dig for it. <laughs> I think there's just something really novel about smelling oregano uh, and fennel <laughs> seed in a beer. Um, at least for me, uh, that's not typically what beers are made with. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's hard to pick up any type of like bitterness, I, I but it's there. Yeah, it, it's, 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 it's there. Yeah, it's buried very deep in all these like strong flavors. All right. Yeah. Ready to dig in? Cheers. <laughs> it looks good. You know, not terrible. <laughs> not terrible at all. Yeah, the, the pale ale base is pretty strong. I would say it's stronger in the taste than it is the aroma. Um, but there's definitely like a weird, vaguely pizza flavor. It's <laughs> 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 on your tongue. <laughs> it's kind of like if you took a bite of pizza and then took a gulp of like a Sierra Nevada pale ale. Um, is that experience. So if you're, maybe the, some of the, uh, I don't want to 
I don't want to say older. I I'm young. <laughs> look, look, I'm a baby. I'm younger than Jeff. I'm younger than many people probably watching this channel. I don't mean to offend you, but y'all beer eating Sierra Nevada drinking dudes, this beer is meant for you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I am totally surprised. I would have never imagined that this would taste the way it did. I was picturing just like a thick tomato based beer. <laughs> no. <laughs> just with a shitload of oregano. I mean, in all honesty, I thought it was just like gonna be liquid pizza, but no. Guys, this is definitely more pale ale than anything else. It's just typically whenever you have a beer with adjuncts, uh, you know, there are certain adjuncts that are more like accents, you know, like I, I think of like a, I don't know, like a chocolate stout and it's maybe got a little cinnamon sprinkled in or a little pepper right, right. or whatever. Yeah. And you get like these just tiny little hints of flavor. This is basically like a tiny hint of pizza flavor on top of the pale ale. Which, now that you're eating the pizza, how does it mix? Yeah, hold on. I'm, I'm getting some of the other kind of spice notes that to me, in my brain, who eats pizza pretty often, <laughs> um, even like my you wife. You wouldn't know looking at him. I mean, my wife even makes like homemade pizza, so like it's... Hard life. Well, uh-huh. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know. In my brain, this definitely does remind me of pizza. So if that was their intention, obviously they did a good job. Um, <laughs> I I wouldn't. This is not something that I would buy regularly. This is very much a novelty beer, mm -hmm. which it seems like that's what we started to do on this channel now. <laughs> start doing more novelty beers. Um, I think this does a better job of being a pizza beer than maybe like uh the sour warhead beer was that we tried yeah. yeah uh it didn't do quite as good of a job being a sour warhead beer uh this is a pizza beer <laughs> and actually to be honest with you jacob might disagree with me okay but i tell you what man if i went to round table pizza and I was sitting down to enjoy some pizza, and they had Bottle Logics. It's not delivery. <laughs> uh, I might not order it if they had something like really good on tap, but I mean, typically you go to a pizza place like that, and it's Bud Light, Coors Light, Miller Light, and then maybe like two craft beers on tap. If this was one of the two, I'm quite certain that I would order this and be okay with it, because actually. To me, it, it doesn't necessarily complement the pizza, but also you're not eating like seafood and drinking a pizza beer at the same time. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't clash, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't clash at all. I mean, it, it blends okay. It, it doesn't like, it doesn't enhance the flavor of the pizza or anything. It's just, it, it's actually a really good, decent pale ale with unusual flavors, but because we're eating pizza with a pizza beer, it works. Anyways, when it comes down to the final verdict of this beer, I would say the aroma, I'm actually gonna give it an eight, only because when I smelled it, not so much that it is a killer aroma or anything, but it smelled directly like a pizza beer. I knew what I was about to dig into. If somebody handed me a glass of this beer and told me nothing about it and said drink it and I took a whiff, I'd be like, what the fuck? that smells like pizza. That's really, that's really weird. Why does it smell like pizza? I don't even know how to rate this on aroma. I know. It's, it's so weird. I think I want to give it a five. Um, <laughs> Savage. <laughs> not saying that like it's bad. It's just such a oddball flavor because it smells like pizza. Um, it just kind of throws you for a loop. So I'm just going to kind of give it a five. I mean, I just burped. And I can't tell where the flavor came from. <laughs> yes! So, I take that review however you want. <laughs> yeah. um, so, if I'm rating flavor, honestly, I'm going to give it about a six. Um, as a pale ale, obviously, with these weird-ass flavors, you're not getting what you'd normally want out of a pale ale. I would say the bitterness is quite mild, if not unexistent. 
At least I didn't really pick up a ton of bitterness it's off like of it. It's like moderate to low bitterness, I would say. Yeah, which, I mean, pale ales aren't supposed to be super bitter. But, I mean, I... It, it tastes like, like beer with pizza flavor. Like, that that's basically it. Like, yeah, right. To, to style, I gotta dock some points there. Um, and then on top of that, pizza and beer. I mean, I, I don't necessarily know that it goes together. It's fun. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, but definitely not something that I would normally want to reach for. I gotta commend Bottle Logic Brewing because they are always exploring legitimate... Like, they, they don't just say that, they do that. This is a testament to that. I gotta commend them, because doing this weird kind of shit is the only way that you can really, like, open up a realm of new possibilities. So, good on you, Bottle Logic, but yeah, I, I can't give it, like, a super high score, because no, I mean, yeah, at the end yeah. of the day, this is not something that I'm like, ooh, I want, like, my fridge filled with this. No, no. 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 <laughs> Yeah, I mean, a flavor, I'm, I'm going to give it just a five across the board. It's it's not bad. Um, I'm also, I've never been a huge fan of, like, Sierra Nevada Pale. Um, I can drink it. I don't go out of my way to buy it. This is kind of what it reminds me of with pizza spices. Um, it did the job that it was trying to do. I can drink it, but I don't know if I'd finish the can myself. It's something that I would purely buy as a novelty to share with people because I kind of like messing with people that way. Um, so thank you, Bottle Logic, for making it. Yeah. Because, I mean, I'm glad I got to try it, um, but it's probably not going to be a regular rotation beer, you know? It's just a <laughs> once in a while. Like, a one and done. You know, yeah, hey, we did it, and we did it well. Good job. And, <laughs> and just in case Ken Grossman's out there and he's watching our show, Jacob does not speak for both of us. Sierra Nevada Pale Ale... <laughs> is by you far one of, beers. one of my favorite beers of all time, and it is the gateway beer that got me into craft beer. So it's got a special I, place I mean, in my heart. No so Ken, <laughs> don't listen to him. I love you. Zero. I love your beer. You don't. No, I know. It's opinions. It's fine. I Whatever. I <laughs> At the end of the day, I would say, guys, uh, if you live local, you can get your hands on this. Honestly, buy a can not because it's great but because it's just really freaking weird and, but and they it, do a good job yeah they do a good weirdness. job <laughs> you're not gonna want to vomit while drinking this and that makes me very happy because i didn't know what to expect <laughs> i like i said i was i was expecting like tomato soup to come out of this can and it didn't so i mean win-win right <laughs> yeah All right. I, I guess I'm, actually, it is a win-win because we're eating pizza, and the only reason we're eating pizza right now is because we wanted to review this beer. So that's true. Yeah, that is a win. So that is a win. Drinking yeah. beer and eating pizza. I agree with that. It's two wins. Yeah. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this review, please give us a thumbs up. Share with your friends if you haven't already. Please subscribe to the channel. It gives us more exposure, gets us more views, and gives us more incentives to make episodes like this one. Uh, pizza was dope. Beer was dope. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time on Let's, Let's have, have Some, some beer. beer and Pizza. Um, Cheers. Cheers. Welcome back guys to a real special episode because today Jeff and I are actually gonna try a beer style that we've never had before, which that's that's a big thing for us. <laughs> um, a kvass beer made by Fanta Flora. I have no idea what to expect other than it's made with baker's yeast, so sure.